So I finally broke down and paid $17 for Uncle Funky's daughter. This is the Curly Magic. I've seen nothing but good reviews on it. So we're getting ready to do a wash and go. Let's get it. detangled I actually shampooed my hair and everything yesterday um, and put it up in a little two ponytails but I'm calling out my hair and I'm looking guys check out my growth that has happened over the past year it is like my hair is so thick and healthy I I'm just blown away from where I, from when I first started. OMG, you have to go back and look at my first video. You have to go back and look at the first video because these health tips that I've been taking pieces from this, from this video, from this person, this person, and applying it to my hair, OMG, OMG, okay, I just had to say that, I just had to say that. So, I shampooed and conditioned, I shampooed and deconditioned my hair with the Shea Moisture Purple Rice Water Strength and Color Care Shampoo. It cleans and neutralizes, it's for color maintenance and care, sulfate free and color safe. So, I really don't have color in my hair but I wanted to use it because of the rice water. Now, this is not a good lathering well, for my hair. It didn't lather really good, so I added some extra until I got the lather that I want, but it did cleanse my hair very good, okay? And it did not leave my hair feeling stripped, all right? Then I went in with their deep conditioner, which left my hair feeling like this, all right? And then I went in with this DIY made by my neighbor from flaxseed. No, no, no. Fenugreek seed, fenugreek seeds, um, shea bay powder, and shea butter and shea butter, and a couple of her favorite oils. And she mixed it up, and you put it on your hair after you shampoo and condition your hair, and just leave it in there. And this stuff is amazing. It melts right into my hair. So I'm going to have to get her to make me some up. I need some up. All right. And you know we're going in with Uncle Funky's daughter. So uh, uh, I really, really don't know. I want to start in the back. This is my goal. So let me. Let me clamp off some hair. Let me just clamp off some hair because I, I want to work in small sections. And I do have a bottle of warm water. I am low porosity for my hair type. So with the warm water, it is going to open up the cuticles on my hair strands. so that I can retain all the product, okay? Now, I've never used this Uncle Funky's daughter, <laughs> like, say that fast. If you can, say that fast five times. Uncle Funky, Uncle Funky, Uncle Funky, Uncle Funky. yeah. But the reviews and the curls that I've seen, yeah, we're going in with it, that's for sure. I'm going to start on this section right here, and then I'll do this section right 
there. Whew. Y'all, I love that my hair has grown. And I just cannot wait to see what it's going to be like in a year or two. Because only time I'm going to cut it is when I get my ends clipped. That's it. I'm going to keep on doing these these regiments, the aloe vera water, the uh, shea bay powder, the virgin hair fertilizer, the rice water, all those things. I do all those things to my hair. All of them. Not at the same time. But I do do it. All of them. So... Let's get started with this tutorial. I'm soaking my hair. Cause I wanted them soaking wet hair. Making sure I get those roots. Make sure it's detangled. Yep, it's detangled. And let's do this. I mean, I haven't even opened it. Oop, pop right up. I haven't even opened it. So I'm going to start. That's probably too much. But. We'll see. Yeah, that was too much because it's all, all on my neck and stuff. So I see it don't take much. section with a less amount and then we'll speed up the video making sure I get these ends on a retain length take care of your scalp and take care of the ends of your hair And of course, take care of your hair strands. You don't have to be a genius to figure that out. You gotta take care. You want strong, strong hair. Okay, so this time, I'm just gonna do this much. It's good, gooey, and slimy. It feels slimy. There's no smell. No smell at all. It just feels gooey and slimy. So you really don't know if you're getting enough on there or not because it feels so gooey. But I like it. I mean, I don't feel like you have to add a gel to it. Look at that. I don't feel like you have to add a gel to it. You know you're going to have some shrinkage. But I just don't feel like you need to add a gel. I, I, I personally, me, it's going to get hard. I know it's going to get hard because I watched the reviews. So, but...
not gonna add a gel. No, not gonna add a gel. Okay, let's speed up. I'm gonna speed up the front. Finishing the front and the back, I'm gonna do off camera. show you guys how my hair look was there a lot of shrinkage because you know shrinkage is good I want to see if there's a lot of shrinkage on it it definitely curls up my hair um, I've used other products that curl my hair enhance my curls better though I have used other products that enhance my curls better so I don't know if the curly magic should have been with something else. As a matter of fact, hold on a second. All right, so I had to purchase this kit. Let's see, curly magic, and then they have thirsty curls. Well, they had some stuff in here. Apply either some super curl or extra butter. You could have put that in there. I could have put that on my hair. Um, Midnight Train was the leave-in conditioner. Shit, I forgot I had all this stuff in here. This is the Midnight Train. This is the leave-in conditioner. And then they had Thirsty Curls, so I can go back and refresh it. What else is in here? I ain't never been through this thing before. Curly Magic, which I have the big one now, so... It's a little kit, it's like a little travel kit. And then they got some extra butter. Now, it don't say that you have to use the super curl or the extra butter with the curly magic. But yes, it does. Step one, leave-in conditioner. Step two, super curl or extra butter. Step three, curly magic. Step four, thirsty curls. So I skipped step one and step two. So I guess it would have curled up better, even though it did curl, but I think it would have did better if I would have used all of it together. See, all of it together, but I didn't. I didn't, I forgot, I had this. 
I forgot I had this instead of Curly Magic, but we're going to see. We're going to see. I'll, it, it, it just, it has to dry. It has to dry. So I'll be back when my hair dries. All right, guys, so this concludes the video. My hair is dry. It is fluffy like I like it. I will try to do the entire line for Uncle Funky's daughter. The next time I may make a video on it to show you all how it turned out with using all of the products in this pack, okay? It's still curly. It is curly, as you can see. I didn't have to stretch it. I didn't blow dry it or anything. It did do a little shrinkage. But the thing I like about it the most is that I didn't. it didn't shrink a lot. And the way I put it on really is the way it dried. And I like that. I like the fact that my curls are still there. My hair is dry. It's gonna be very easy to manage very easy because I'm gonna sleep with my satin bonnet and I'm gonna use the thirsty curls um, leave-in curl revi revi revitalizer what is it yeah thirsty curls and it's a leave-in curl and it revitalizes your curls so I'm gonna be using that to refresh my curls so it turned out good. I like it. I like it. It gave me that fluffy look. And with it giving me that fluffy look, I'll be able to wear this probably, probably about three or four days. And the only reason I say three or four days because then it'll be time to make another video. <laughs> so if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you can follow me on my natural hair journey. And leave me some comments if you have any questions or anything or you want or suggestions. Um, I didn't add any other type of gel or anything. I only use the curl, curly magic. That's it, that's all I use. I didn't even add an oil to it, anything, and my hair is soft. So I usually do the LCO method, which is a leave-in, a cream, or styler, and then an oil. I didn't add an oil. Um, for my oils, I usually use like my vegetable glycerin or something I would use, or maybe some of my blue magic, something like that. Um, but I didn't do that this time because I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't have no crunch or anything like that. And once I finish using the curling magic, it kind of sealed in that water that I sprayed on my hair. So uh, I like it. I like it. Will I use it again? Yes. Is it worth seventeen dollars? <sighs> Yeah, but no. Yeah, but no. Mm. No, it wasn't that much magic. Cause I can get, I usually can get more curls and fluff from other products as well. So seventeen. No, it's not worth seventeen dollars. Um, but it's a curl stimulator with aloe vera, marshmallow, and nettle. For kinky curly and wavy textures so that's it it's got a slimy consistency I kind of showed you guys that it's real slimy it goes on your hair so it's not a cream or anything like that it's a slimy little gel slimy gel but it worked and I guess with the marshmallow being in it that's what give, gives it that softness you can feel the curls all the way up to the roots. So, it's all good. It's all great. So, y'all remember to keep God first in everything you do. And I do mean everything. And I will see you guys in the next video.